I believe that leaders must display dignity. I believe that leaders must tell the truth. I don't like clowns. Good, roll film. Limit ruling. Let's see what been up to. I look around. Same shit, different day. Feminism is one of the biggest scams that indoctrinating young girls, I was even indoctrinated, to think that your career is going to bring you happiness. Then you hit 40s, 50s, not married, no children, and it's heartbreaking. You're not happy. And I'm so happy and so grateful that I figured this out in my early 20s. You have some women in their 30s, 40s, listening to Cardi B, dedicating their lives to their career, and they're going to be miserable. They're creating a certain lifestyle for themselves, and no man is ever going to want them. Then we start hating on men because men prefer younger women. Well, that's not really men's fault, is it? It's society's fault. Society should have told girls when they were much younger that at that age, they're going to be most desirable. But no, they were busy building their careers and building all these different things, which unfortunately they wake up one day and realize just isn't satisfying enough. And so I think it's very sad. The whole feminist movement, number one, all a scam. Chalk it up right with the BLM and right with the pride. It's all a scam. It's all a created scam to divide us. It's all a created scam to destroy the family. It's a part of the problem. They're going to destroy the middle class. It's how, it's how they install the system. Hey, if you know, you know. No, no, no. The Warriors coach had a lot more to say than just that. He spoke about why he was there, making a fool of himself. Uh, why he backs the Democrats. He explained what he looks for in a leader. I believe that leaders must display dignity. I believe that leaders must tell the truth. Got it. Dignity and truth. Let's get a dose of that with the leader that Steve Kerr backs right now, Joe Biden, who spoke sometime after Kerr. He was way past his bedtime and it was a manic, incoherent rant. He told women they had no electrical or electoral power. Try to figure this out. Women are not without electrical, without, not allowed, not without electoral, electoral or political power. No kidding. No kidding. Uh, but let's just get back to that dignity thing Steve Kerr was talking about, dignity and truth. And here we see that sort of glorious dignity of Biden repeating verifiable lies to sow racial division. And in doing so, he even invoked the name of his dead son. It's not very dignified in my book and chanting the same exact anti-Semitic bile that was heard in Germany in the early 30s. 
neo-Nazis, white supremacists, the Ku Klux Klan. Hey, if you know, you know. When the president was asked what he thought had happened, Donald Trump said, and I quote, there are very fine people on both sides. My God. That's what he said. That is what he said and what he meant. That's what I realized. Had to listen to the admonition of my dead son. I could not stay in the sidelines. So I ran. So dignified, so truthful, so full of joy. That demented diatribe was, of course, devoid of fact. We told you that years ago. It's all on video. The fine people hoax is just that. Trump did condemn the neo-Nazis and racists unequivocally. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, okay? And the press has treated them absolutely unfairly. And yet years later, the Democrats from Joe Biden down continue to push that dangerous, divisive lie, even after President Trump was almost assassinated. They're full of shit. If you know me, you know I don't move out of white people way on the street. I will dead ass. Fuck a shoulder check, bitch. I'm taking your shoulder with me, actually. Yeah, I'm walking down the street with that. I will knock a bitch flat and walk over her. I don't care. I'm not moving. When it comes to the white people, I'm not moving. Y'all so rude. Yes. Yes, we are. Rude. Gwen's. Sit. Nope. Sit. Okay, I'm waiting on you, buddy. Sit. Oh, you got maple. It is a messed up world.